Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the G.I. Joe Retaliation Hiss Tank. That's right, the G.I. Joe Retaliation toys. They're probably going to be showing back up in store soon. If you remember, they hit stores, then they kind of vanished with the movie getting pushed back, and since we're getting closer to that movie finally coming out, these toys are going to start hitting shelves. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Hiss Tank. As you can see, the vehicle just comes in a full box that's got some artwork featuring an image of the vehicle on the front. We got the G.I. Joe movie logo up there in the top left corner. And then down on the bottom left, we've got some artwork of The Rock as Roadblock and Snake Eyes. You'll also notice that there is a little blurb on the front that lets you know that this comes with a Cobra Commander figure. Now the back of that packaging will just give us an image of the Hiss Tank and Cobra Commander, as well as gives us some information on some of the different action features that the vehicle has. And then up in the top right corner, we've got some information on G.I. Joe. So when you open up the box, this is what you're going to see first. You'll notice that there is some minor assembly required. Now, the good thing is that there is a sheet of instructions included that's going to help guide you through the process. It's actually very easy to put together. All the parts just snap together well. They do lock and hold in place very firmly, so it's very easy to get together. Uh, the hard part is actually the little stickers. You'll see that there is a little sheet of decals, so you do have to put all these stickers on, and some of them are really tiny. Now, some of you guys out there might enjoy putting the stickers on, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is going to be a little time-consuming getting all these little stickers put on there. But once all of the stickers are in place, this is the G.I. Joe Retaliation version of the Hiss Tank. So there have been several different versions of the Hiss Tank over the years, and looking at this one, it definitely looks like a Hiss Tank. It's got the Hiss Tank vibe. It's got the large treads, and the overall body design is pretty much the same. It is a little different, however, and if you compare this to past versions, this may not be the best version of the Hiss Tank out there. So let's go ahead and get a more detailed look at it. First things first, you'll notice that the large treads on there are all solid plastic. They do not have the actual rubber treads. The treads do not roll. Instead, on the bottom, you'll notice that there are just small little plastic wheels embedded in. Now, the wheels do roll nicely, so if you're on a hard surface there, the Hiss Tank does roll across just fine. Uh, but I know some of the past versions have actually had the real rolling treads, so I can understand why that might be a little bit of a letdown. The rest of the body design is a little different there. It's a little sleeker, a little slender. Uh, it's definitely got this really cool armored look to it. It's a little similar to what we saw with the Pursuit of Cobra version of the Hiss Tank. It's all done with this dark blue. Uh, there's really no paint variants or anything like that. All of the plastic is just solid colored, so it's mostly just this dark blue. We do have some nice silver tones on the back there and some silver done on the gun turrets on the front and up there on the top. There is also this larger tank turret that is a separate piece. Uh, it just kind of sits in the little hole that's on the top of the his tank there. It doesn't really lock in or anything. It just kind of sits in place, and then you can rotate that around. Now, of course, you'll notice that this does have a giant red missile sticking out of the front of it. That's because it does have a projectile missile. There's just a small red button on the top, so when you press that, it sends the missile flying, and it's actually a pretty good projectile missile. I can understand it does look a little goofy, though, if you want to pose this and you just got this big red missile on there. So if you want to, just pop that missile off and display it without it, and that way it just looks like a regular tank cannon on the front. Other than that, there's not a lot of real details or anything on there. Uh, those little stickers do help add some variants. We've got uh, lots of Cobra logos, little decals all over the vehicle. Uh, you'll notice that it does have the opening cockpit on the front, so you can flip that open. It just has these dark gray windows. Uh, the box shows these really cool translucent red windows, which I think look a lot better than the dark gray windows we got on the final product. So I do wish we had those translucent red windows instead. But you'll see on the inside there is just a, a large silver chair. There's a few little stickers to go inside that show control panels and everything. And the other action feature that this thing has is it's got the ability to uh, flip up in the Cobra Strike uh, lift action, is what it's called on the box. Basically, the whole thing can just kind of lift forward there. Uh, it's got a real nice um, click joint there, so it just kind of clicks forward, and it looks like it's kind of striking forward. Now, one of the things that's cool about that is the design of the body does kind of have a little bit of a serpent look to it or a snake look, so I guess just kind of popping it up there allows it to look like a snake striking. 
Now, when you get it popped up in that position, you can rotate the little turrets hanging off the back if you want to. Uh, they have those same little ratchet joints, so they can kind of click upwards there, and that way you can have the guns kind of pointing upwards or more straightforward or down. You also have the ability to turn the entire cockpit itself. It is also on a bit of a ratchet joint that's connected to the treads there. That way it can kind of just rock left and right, and you can kind of rotate it around and get some different poses. Now the overall thing is made of a very lightweight, very hollow feeling plastic. I was actually kind of surprised at how light this thing was. Uh, I wouldn't say that it feels so bad as to where it's going to fall apart in your hands or anything like that, but it definitely doesn't feel as tough or as sturdy as I would picture a G.I. Joe vehicle being. So. I would assume that this is maybe some sort of a cost-saving measure, but it's definitely very lightweight, very hollow plastic. Now, as stated on the box, this does include an action figure of Cobra Commander, and <laughs> it's a little bit of a bittersweet figure. Here's why I say that. Looking at the figure, he's pretty sweet looking. I actually like the design of this guy. He almost looks like a movie version of the old Armored Cobra Commander variant that was out there. You can see he's got this nice armored suit. It's a pretty good paint job, mixture of blacks and kind of like this bronzish color. He's got some really cool details on there. You can see he's got the little wrist rocket. I love the shape and design of the helmet. So overall, very cool looking figure. Here's the downfall. The articulation on this guy is incredibly basic. He only features that standard five points of articulation. So he turns left and right at the head, his arms move up and down at the shoulders, and his legs move up and down at the thighs. And that's it. Nothing in the elbows, nothing in the knees, no wrists, no ankles. This guy probably shouldn't be considered a G.I. Joe figure. He's more like those classic figures from the 80s and early 90s with how minimal his articulation is. So it kind of makes him useless for anything other than just standing there. Now it does look pretty neat if you pose him up in the little tank turret sitting up on the top there. I do like how there's a little cockpit to put a figure up there. And you can also send him inside the actual cockpit of the his tank as well. But he's so stiff looking because of his lack of articulation that there's really not a lot of posing you're going to get out of this guy. Like I said, love the design of the figure. I just wish that he looked and moved more like a G.I. Joe figure. Then I would love this. But again, I assume that's another cost saving measure on Hasbro's part. So there you go guys, there's a look at the G.I. Joe Retaliation version of the Hiss Tank. Overall I'd say the vehicle is pretty nice. Yes it's a little lightweight and I wish it had a little more detail going on in there, but I do still think it's a really cool vehicle, definitely makes for a nice display piece and I think kids would have a lot of fun playing with it. The Cobra Commander action figure that comes with it is not so good. You probably will be better off pairing up this his tank with some of the actual G.I. Joe figures, either from the Retaliation toy line or maybe some of your other G.I. Joe toy lines. If you haven't picked up a his tank yet, maybe this is a great opportunity for you to finally add one to your collection. So the G.I. Joe Retaliation his tank should be showing back up in stores anytime now if there's not already some still kind of floating around out there. So happy hunting and until next time.